Alright. <clears throat> I really want to do a better tier list because I've been playing more of all the killers recently. As you can see, I have almost all of them P3. Trapper, Raid, Doobly Nurse, Huntress, Myers, Hag, Doctor, Cannibal, Freddy, Pig, Clown, Spirit, Plague, and Ghostface, and Oni are all P3 level 50. All I got is E2 left, and then we're done, so all the killers are P3 level 50. I can go into other perks, but I tell you this because I have now played almost all the killers extensively, except maybe Plague because I just don't like her. I played all of these killers a crap ton so I know how they all work so I can make a better tier list this way and I really want to place my people carefully so that being said let's get into it whatever whatever Oh yeah, dude, we're getting a new president. Kind of cringe. Let's see. <clears throat> Update to include the Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Get the frick down from there. Oh my. <clears throat> okay. Here we are. Here's our tier list. I really don't want to automatically put Nurse in S tier because I really want to think about it since her power got kind of nerfed a little bit or reworked. For this tier list, I kind of want to factor in everything. Uh, including add-ons and perks and strong builds like that. I don't want to heavily rely on like some some strong add-on like iridescent head to carry you know hunters into S tier. I'm gonna factor it in its own little category where it makes sense. You know, iridescent head is obviously very strong, but I'm not gonna let that carry here because iridescent head is um, a very powerful add-on, and I know that. And uh, you know, I'm just I'm not trying to let that sway my vote or, or any of these killers really like pinky finger. Um, or like you know, you like build even though spirit got reworked anyway. So I don't even know how good those add-ons are right now. <clears throat> anyway, um, I guess I will put nurse in S tier because her power has been kind of changed for the better. Um, she still has the powerful ability to phase through walls, and a good spirit or <clears throat> a good nurse is always going to be you know a good player killing people and having smart blinks and whatnot. I personally am out of experience with Nurse, and I feel like uh, the way her power works now, it just feels worse. Basically, when I play Spirit, or <laughs> when I play Nurse, uh, usually I just always gritting my teeth because blinks are just so stressful, uh, and you have to be so focused when you're blinking, I feel. So I, I personally don't like Nurse. I think she's very stressful, but I'm not denying that she is definitely a very good killer. And then right next, we're in the same tier. This is really important. I'm playing Spirit. Um, Spirit is... Um, she, her power got reworked, and No Collision is definitely makes her a little bit of a more balanced killer. Still, it doesn't change my opinion that she's definitely as strong as Nurse, or like a little bit lower, but in the same kind of realm as Nurse. Uh, she can't really be looped, because... Uh, the only thing that counters her is Iron Will. You can just basically hear survivors wherever they are if you have good headphones and just completely pinpoint their location. And the survivors have no idea where you are. So it's just kind of like God mode with Spirit, I feel. Like, survivors can have good knowledge of what a Spirit would anticipate and kind of work around that. But I think, regardless, she's still so strong. <sighs> okay. Next. I'm gonna put Billy. Yeah, I'm gonna put Billy in third. I actually had to think about that for a second because I'm not a very good Billy main. But you know, good players are always good with Billy. His strongest thing is his in intense map pressure that he can use at will. 
That's definitely his strongest thing. He can go from one corner of the map where he has a lot of pressure to where someone's working on a gen, like the last gen way away, and just go there. You really can't three gen against ability. I just realized that. Um, but that one shot capability is also really strong. Again, he can be kind of looped sometimes, but with a good ability, you can kind of use the uh, high sensitivity at the start of a chainsaw to get around loops, and that's pretty strong. And aggressive ability is always scary, especially with Spirit Fury. I don't want to factor that in. But, yeah, Spirit Fury is definitely really good on him. <clears throat> okay. Where do I put... Where are you? These two. Where am I going to put these guys? Because Hag's always been a number four for me for a long time. Yeah, whatever. I'll put it like this. Okay. Hag in fourth. Hag has the best map presence in the game uh, i've said this a lot recently um she she can kind of initiate a snowball at will just by hooking someone and then trapping them and using a make your choice make a choice is strongest on her it's one of the strongest perks on any killer uh, except for maybe pop on freddy anyway um uh, on top of that, I, just, I don't want to, you know, just factor in, like, you know, the camping hooks aspect of her. She also has really good pallet stopping potential, uh, to the point where you can just trap a pallet and then just run around it the other way, and the survivor can't do anything. Um, it, it becomes a point of, like, oh, what is the hag going to do? And it's a guessing game controlled by you, and that's a good thing. Uh, to take a page out of Scott Jen's book. Uh, that was referring to Huntress, but whatever. Uh, it still applies. Um... You, you just always have the ball in your in your field as hag. You're weakest when you have no traps down, so you always want to keep that in mind. But she's still very strong. And then next I have uh, Huntress in fifth. I've been playing her a lot more recently. I, I can see uh, why she's really good. Uh, I would just direct you to Scott Jund as Huntress. He is insane with her. Uh, having that perfect knowledge of hatchets is so satisfying. And I, I will agree with him when he says that Huntress has the most satisfying game. Uh, the only thing is, uh, when you're playing against the Huntress as a survivor, you can kind of, the the biggest weakness, I feel, is that she, you can kind of, the chase is determined by the amount of hatchets you have, so a survivor can kind of, like, eliminate your hatchets one by one, like, have you miss, and then, when you have zero hatchets, there's, like, you have to leave that chase, there's no way you're ever gonna catch the survivor without hatchets, so, that's kind of the weaker part, and then, um, her slow movement speed as well, so survivors can kind of gen rusher on bigger maps but regardless than that an aggressive huntress is always scary now what i kind of want to work my way down the list Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, next, I have Freddy. Uh, I was depending. I was deciding whether to put Freddy and Oni. Uh, you know, deciding which way I'm gonna put them, but I'm putting Freddy next. Uh, Freddy is the most subtly underrated killer. Like you don't expect a Freddy to be good uh, because of his unfortunate past, but now Freddy is a killing machine. I he's definitely the best killer without some like alternative power. Uh, I don't know how to. Do that. It's just weird. He has no one shot. I mean, <laughs> Hag doesn't have one shot, and neither does Nurse. So I don't know. It's weird. He just kind of gets looped. Freddy gets looped, but he's so good at countering it. I think he might have the best loop countering power that isn't like game breaking. Where the snares are just so in your favor. It's insane. You can place as many as you want. No speed debuffs. It's just. Playing Freddy is the most, like, satisfying thing ever. Because, like, you're not getting punished. You're not going slow when you uncloak his wraith. Or just, like, have no lunge when you're Oni. Or, like, you're super slow when you have a treatment out as Doctor. Freddy is just, like, you just glide around the map and play snares and then you win. It's so much fun. Especially with Save the Best for Last and Pop. You just kind of do whatever and win. He definitely has the most, sat like, subtly 
It's like in the back of your brain. It's just like, Freddy good? But then you play him and you're like, oh my god, dude. This killer is really good. I don't know. It's weird. I love Freddy. He's my main. He's so good. Next. Okay. I'm deciding between these two now. These two. Because Oni has a one-shot. or So does Ghostface, but... Ghostface, you don't play around a one shot. I, I'll put Oni first. Or will, do I even put him in B? Where do I put this guy? It's hard to decide. Yeah, I'll put him in B. Yeah. Actually, no. We, we'll deal with these guys later. Let's do, let's go from the bottom now. So the worst killer in the game is Bubba, in my opinion, just because. Okay, this is weird. I'm gonna make these guys tied. Wraith and Bubba tied. Yeah, I'm sorry, True Town, alright? I, I really am, but I, I don't see how you think Wraith is top tier, man. I, I don't particularly think that playing killers in, like, a way that's not how you're supposed to play them determines how viable they are. I mean, especially depending on, like, sloppy and thanatophobia as perks. I just don't... I don't see how that can even remotely be a way to determine... How a killer is good. A good killer is a killer that I can kind of play however I want and still win. You might argue that Hag kind of defies that principle, but I I play Hag and I just chase around pallets and I still win. I don't I don't play the traditional trap during chase and just break chase and never chase. Uh, I I don't I don't play it like that. So I guess that kind of proves my theory. Um, regardless, I don't I don't think I don't think especially how grossly different you have to play. I'm not getting. I mean. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I just don't think Wraith's good. He doesn't feel good, at least, when I play him. I just... Uh, the uncloak is so disgusting. Um, Wraith is bad. He's nothing for chases. You get looped around Cowtree. You can't do anything, man. Um, Bubba. Same kind of principle. I like him being the worst because you just look at Bubba. You look into his eyes, and then you're just like, this is the worst killer. I want him to have that thing. The only good thing about him is Basement Bubba, and I, I do think that's a lot of fun. Basement Bubba is one of the funnest things I've ever done in this game. Um, but, it, yeah, his chainsaw does nothing around tiles and stuff. And if you're a good survivor, getting looped around as Bubba, like me playing survivor, I've gone against so many Bubbas, it is a field day. They don't, They can't do anything if you just keep a window in between them or, like, and you keep in mind that they have no acceleration from their chainsaw. You can just run around a pallet all day. They can't do anything. It's the funniest thing. Bubba, definitely the... Mm, you know, these are tied, right? But I like him being the worst. Bubba worst killer than Wraith right behind him. Next. Um, tell you what. I'm putting Doctor... Yeah, I'm gonna put Doctor. This is a bit weird. I'm putting Legion a little bit higher. I've been playing a little bit of Legion. I I can see how he's good. Actually, uh, that kind of defies my principle. I really want to think about this. All right, I'm putting Pig. Poor Piggy. Um, Pig is bad because. Uh, she has nothing to counter pallets except her ambush, but a good survivor will just run to a different loop, and they'll just be sitting there crouching around the pallet like, bruh, where'd you go? Uh, it's kind of funny. Uh, the traps, you only have four of them and some skill, like some luck, and they'll get it off in their first try. Literally done nothing for you. A good pig that kind of spreads your resources thin is, is making sure to be tit for tat on her gens, and ruin on her is crucial as well. I don't know. Pig's sometimes fun, but yeah, leave it at that. Mm, okay, I've decided. I'm putting Oni in A tier. Um, he has some. Good map ability, even with Billy. Better than Billy, actually. Mm, yeah, we'll just say even, uh, because you have to charge up his you know, mobility. Um, his one shot is, you know, brutal as well, and his, his kind of like 
when survivors are healthy, you get a lot of blood from it, and when they're injured, you get a lot of blood from them, so... Oni's kind of like in the same vein as Freddy, where you just kind of run around and hit people, and then you just naturally win. Sometimes, if it takes you a while to hit some survivors in the heel really quickly, that's a little bit unfortunate. Uh, you know, a good team can destroy an Oni. But, his snowball potential and his, you know, power is good enough. He did get nerfed, unfortunately, so he's not as good as he used to be. He would definitely be up here if he was like that before. But no, he's down here. Sad. Okay. This is where I don't know. Okay, I'll just tell you about Clown right now. Um, clown used to be kind of okay, but um, when you're playing against a Clown, Ruin is so crucial. And you really have no power sometimes. I mean, the bottles are nice, but you only have four of them, and they go really quickly. Uh, I don't know, Clown's just kind of meh. <laughs> There's nothing to talk about for him, I guess. All right, next I'll have to go space. Um, okay, I need to think about this one. Okay, True Town thinks this guy is up here. He also thinks this guy is up here. Uh, yeah, I I don't understand. I mean, I understand. Okay, I understand why Ghostface is good. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> Uh, True Town thinks Ghostface is better than Nurse sometimes. Um, I know his kind of way of doing a tier list is a little bit different. He just thinks of killers as viable and non-viable. And, dude, True Town, every killer is viable. Did you know that? I mean, okay, you know, his definition of viable is a little bit different. But, uh, my definition of viable is you can, you always have a chance with, with you do have a chance with every killer. Because survivors are brain dead sometimes. You have a chance with every killer every single time you play. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. I'm not. I'm not gonna talk about it. Um, Ghostface, his marked, his, playing marked is kind of okay, but he's a little bit stronger when you're using it just to like sneak up on people. Uh, he has probably the best stealth in the game, uh, being that you can do it at will. Uh, playing it around tiles is a little bit nasty. I've played against really good ghost faces. I I don't see what's so good about him, man. So I'm putting him in B. I mean, I I I don't understand what's so amazing about him. I'll put it like that. I know he's good. I know he's great, but I don't see what's amazing about him. That puts him like all the way up here. How low? I don't know. Yeah. Alright, the thing about Plague is you get gen rushed a lot because nobody cleanses, so they just sit on gens the whole time. Ruin is really important for her, but she's probably the most... These two are the most boring killers to play as. Um, because no one cleanses, so you're just kind of running around and hitting people. It's not fun. Uh, Plague was kind of okay when she came out, and everyone's just kind of learned to play against her. She's meh. Yeah, I'll put Doctor there. Where does Legion go? That's the question. Yeah.
Yeah, okay. I'm happy with this. This is my tier list. I kind of sped around a little bit, but I'll talk about the ones that I placed around in a little bit. Um, all right, I'll talk about B tier. So uh, I've talked about Ghostface. So Trapper, um, I think he's... When you look at him on paper, it just kind of seems like he's kind of... Yeah, the bear traps are that help, but no. The bear traps are actually really important, especially if you got some big brains. Because you kind of have to... Because I'll tell you this. Survivors are really predictable. You can, I mean, they're not predictable, but they, they really have no other choice than to loop stuff. So if you trap loops, you'll get free downs a lot, especially if you know exactly where to trap. There are some trap placements that are super dirty. So... Um, playing as trapper with that kind of mindset in mind where you kind of know where to trap and where survivals run it's not kind of like black and white like that but you can kind of improvise a lot which is good uh, you kind of have to get survivors into a pressure point because if someone gets trapped in a trap a million miles away from where you have someone hooked you're just gonna like lose all your pressure so you have to you know trap in a pressure zone and keep the survivors there and then you'll just end up slugging that's what's so good about trapper you just kind of eliminate the players one by one And in that same vein, uh, Demogorgon has some pretty good map mobility as well. His Shred is his main power, obviously. Uh, it can really... <laughs> it kind of completely counters Dead Hard, being used in its good way to get to a window. Because Shred has such a distance. Uh, yeah, I haven't played a lot of Demogorgon, I'll be honest about that. He's like a one killer. I haven't played a lot of. I played him when he came out, that's it. Uh... uh I, I do see what's good about him, so, hey. Don't worry, it's good. I'm saying it right here. And then Myers. Um, Myers is a little bit interesting. There's a big jump, by the way. Uh, there's a big jump between Myers and Clown. These guys are bad. These guys are good. I'll say that. I mean, the everyone's viable, even Bubba. <laughs> um, but these guys are kind of... War you'll lose more with these guys. You'll win more with these guys. And these are free wins. Uh, so... Even Freddy's a free. I, I'm not gonna put Freddy in. I would put Freddy in S tier. I just gotta love him. He's so good. Uh, Myers. Okay. I'm getting sidetracked. Um, Myers is the best snowball in the game. He does depend on perks like Infectious Fright and Barbecue. But popping tier three, hooking someone, and then just watching the snowball unfold is just like the craziest thing. Um, I feel like Myers isn't really the strongest with slugging but both play styles of like snow uh like uh, slugging and snowballing uh are are optimal for him very much so myers is a really fun killer uh he doesn't need enduring though so that's that's my tier list so i uh, i'm very happy with this this will probably be the definitive tier list in my mind for years to come or months to come until the new killer comes out but uh yeah anyways guys hope you enjoyed this video if you just like and comment make sure you think and remember stay gamer